Hello and welcome to another Blender tutorial brought to you by Lois Art. My name is Emmanuel Okafo and I hope you guys are doing well. In today's tutorial, I'm going to be showing you guys how to set up drivers inside Blender. So I know you, as because you're here, you definitely know what drivers are, but I'll just go further to explain it. So when you talk about drivers, you're just talking about a system whereby you're connecting two different parameters. And in most cases, you can be connecting the shape key parameter and driving it with either a bone or a um, property slider. So in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you guys the two method of achieving that. So we're doing um, driving, creating drivers with um, bones and also creating drivers with the property slider. So let's take a look at the example we have right here. So um, this is just a basic character with a simple small shape keys. So we can ju um, just go ahead and see what we have. So we have two shape keys and, and these are basically two examples, uh, the two examples we'll be working with today. So um, they are basically same shape keys, just duplicated. So the first one will be showing us how we can um, connect drivers to drive. Uh, we can connect it to be driven by a bone, um, by a bone, and we can also connect, we'll also connect the second one to be driven by a property slider. So for the first one, let's just take a look how this works. So um, before that, let's just turn this off. Okay, so once we move this, you can see we are triggering the shape keys. And also, once we move the slider, we are also triggering the shape key. So I'm going to show you guys how that is being achieved. So let's get started. So basically, what we have right now is just a simple object with basic shape keys. So as I showed you earlier, these are where the shape keys are located. So if you want to create your own shape keys, um, we can just start with a fresh object. So we just go Shift A at the UV sphere. And so this is the object and you can find the shape key in this triangle um, icon here. So once you click it, you can see it. Um, I think it's called the data panel. Yeah, data properties. So um, once you have your object selected, you can hit the plus icon to initialize the shape of the object in this um, term, this UV sphere, so it retains its initial shape. And once you hit the plus again, you can now add the modify shape. So here we can, um, for us to create a new shape um, for this, you cannot achieve that in the object level. So you have to go into the edit mode. So selecting your object, you want to go into edit mode. And here you can just make any changes you want. And once you go back, you will not see anything. So if you move the slider, you can see the changes we've made as shape keys. And then we can connect the shape keys. In, um, so we can connect the shape key to be onto a driver that is going to allow us animate it easily. Because it's actually possible for you to animate this um, by just inserting keyframes, but it's not very intuitive, especially when you're working in a very complex project. Okay, so let's um, get into the main stuff. So right here, we already have shape keys for this character. And what we just want to do now is we want to add an armature. So you could apply, you could set up an object to be a driver, but I prefer to use an armature to be a driver because we can just, um, it's more reliable in my own opinion. So that's why I usually use the armature to drive uh, my shape keys. So let's add just a basic armature. So I'm just gonna go ahead and call this um, control, okay? And then we'll go into the edit mode. So you can switch here, so edit mode. And I'm also going to go ahead and name this bone smell, okay? So once you've done that, we are all set. So next you wanna select the object and in the data properties, we'll um, first handle the first um, shape keys. So here we'll just right click and do a driver. So Blender is very intuitive to bring out this nice driver property. And here you can get all the basic um, stuff you need to be able to create a driver inside Blender. So basically what we want to do now is just leave it as scripted expression. And since we're just working at base level, um, you don't really not need to know programming to be just to work with this. So all you just need to do is input val. And the reason why, not, why, the reason why I'm inputting val is just basically um, just copying the name of this. So if I'm going to set this to Lewis at, okay, so I have to make sure the expression name is called Lewis at, okay? So just basically um, the mindset for that. So now it's going to ask us for the object. So for the object, we want to select the control 
um, ob uh, object, which is the bone. So um, you have to input the object and the bone level. So um, for the next, we want to select the smile. Okay. And finally, um, you, you, it asks you whether you want the X location or the word space. So we'll talk about this in a bit. Uh, before I move uh, forward, um, I need us to talk. About, I want us to talk about um, this uh, um, variable here. So there are several there are different type of variables. Um, so this variable is called the. I think it's called the transformation and um, the transform channel. Um, so that's this. That's what this variable is called. So there are several. So you have the single property channel. You have the rotation difference channel. So when you're trying to use drive objects with bone and armature or just any object, using the transform property channel is um, what you should be going for, like it's I'm doing here. So right now it's asking us for the um, type and space. So what this basically means is where um, like. Where do you want? Uh, what should happen before the shape key is triggered? So I, in this instance, I want when I move this bone to the um, x positive axis, um, then the the shape key is being triggered. So that's what we want. So um, let's set that up. So it looks like I've lost my um, driver window. So what you can do is just right click and open driver editor. So it's going to bring out a more detailed driver editor. So here you can actually um have more control so but we'll soon not be going, doing advanced stuff here we're just working on the basic stuff here so since uh, uh, we said we want to move it on the x location so i'm just going to leave it on the x location okay so for the space basically when you, um, if you're working with objects you want to leave it in world location and the world space but if you're working with amateur you definitely want to switch it to local space so i'm going to switch this to local space and once you do that uh, you can just click on update um, dependencies and after you've done that, you're all, good, you're all set up. So now, once we move this, um, it's not working. So let's see what's happening. So we can bring out this driver again and select this. And let's see. So we have it, um, smile, control. Okay. So um, the basic what's happening is we're having a like I, I explained um, the expression and this vari um, variable name. So this has to be um, the same name as this. So here um, the L for the Louis art is capital, which is why we're getting an error. Um, and Blender is intuitive enough to give you the error saying error invalid Python expression. So to fix that, you can just copy this variable name and just paste it here and update dependencies. So once you do that, um, it's definitely going to work. OK, so in an instance where you want to move it the opposite direction, um, basically all you need to do is just select your object, OK? And make sure you're in the right one. OK, so you select um, the shape key. And all you need to do is just go here and just put negative in the front of any variable name and it's going to do the opposite of it. So now if we move this, it's going to trigger um, when we move the, it in the um, negative um, X location. So that's basically um, that. Um, that's the first um, way to set up drivers. So for the second way, um, We'll do, um, first of all, let's create a custom property because that's how you uh, you can that's uh, custom properties like a friendly um, UI for artists to be able to um, like add more properties into Blender without even having experience with coding. So if you select your object, um, your amateur object, um, you want to switch to the pose mode, and then make sure you are in this bone icon. Okay, and here you would add the custom properties. So when you hit add, you will see this. So if you cannot see that's because you need to bring out this tool panel. And once you go to um, select item, you will see the um, property here. So now you want to hit edit. And here you can call it any name you want. So I'm going to call it smile and just leave everything as it is. So you can even um, give it a tooltip, which is really nice. <laughs> 
Okay, so what you um, just basically need from this is just right click and do copy data path. Okay, this is the way you can tell the shape kit to recognize this small custom property. Okay, so now um, for the final step, you just select the object, go into the shape key, right click, add driver. So we get this nice intuitive window again, and we want to set the name to Val. And of course, you know the reason why we're setting it to Val. And as I explained earlier, we have different variable types. And for this instance, when dealing with custom property, the, the, the most preferable variable type that works with this is a single property um, variable type. So all, the only data you need to input for this is just the bone name or the object name. So once you've input that, the final, um, parameter for you to input data in is the path. And earlier we copied the um, data path um, from the custom property which we created. So now we'll just hit Control V to paste it and that's all. Okay, so now it's um, um, smiling already. That's because the value is in one. So we can reduce this. Yeah, so yeah, so that's it. You can go ahead and play with it. If you have any other questions, you can leave it in the comments. I try to respond as much as possible. So if you enjoyed to, or if you want to see more from me, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and click on the bell so you get notified anytime I post anything new. So thank you for watching this tutorial. Bye bye for now. See you next time.